everyone so uh, we have a super exciting update to show you today um, I know this is something that a lot of people have been waiting for and that's the ability to open PDF patterns that you already own with our viewer and mark off your progress where it's secured uh, safely stored to the cloud so uh, th when we release this will there'll be a button for you to add uh, PDFs to your list of patterns but for now I've just added some to my account uh, if I open a pattern let's open this one uh, so as you can see it's very quick to open uh, this loads in the in the viewer and there's a there's a toggle button here that toggles between seeing the, the full image and just the stitches that you've completed so this is whether you want to view the the progress that you're making or just view the image and then as you zoom in it obviously switches back to the symbols even if you have the pattern um, the the image shown but it's always good to uh, when you've opened it just just uh, zoom in have a look around uh, check that the image that's showing here is what you expect uh, and if you saw our previous video you'll see that this is showing you the actual image that the pattern will produce not the image that the pattern was produced from which on a lot of uh, sellers uh, particularly heaven, heaven and earth design they put the original image on the cover not the image that the pattern is actually going to produce so and, uh, and just to show you how that works uh, let's open this other one um, so you see in this one it's got a lot of blue dark blue and black even though the black is actually lighter than the dark blue in their patterns um, if I switch to uh, to the PDF a proper PDF viewer uh, you can see there's a lot more detail here than is actually in the in the pattern when it comes out uh, and the other thing you may have noticed is um, when we render the pattern we actually use our own symbol set so you're kind of getting a, a free upgrade so it's kind of a clearer to use uh, pattern than the original so just to show you what the original one looks like this is the same portion of the pattern so 310 and 200 so we've got let's go back three, uh, 310 200 so we've got this almost solid black square there's actually a different symbol here um, let's use that as a reference so that's this square here let's zoom in Oops. Uh, and then you've got this kind of diagonal coming down we've got these flower symbols here let's see the equivalent on this one so that would be those two symbols and then you've got that same circle uh, which, sorry which on the original pattern is a, is a circle solid black circle so let's look at these two flowers and the black circle uh, let's go up to the key on here so we've got uh, the flower symbol this is a black circle I think that I think that one's a bigger black circle yeah, so there's the flower symbol, so that's 336. Let's see if there's another black circle. 823. So let's go on our pattern. So we've already selected that, which is 336. If we select this one, 823. So obviously you can see the benefit of having an electronic pattern. So these, even though these symbols on this pattern are kind of similar, um, they're a bit easier to read. And when you're selecting them with a viewer it's always going to highlight the stitch so you're never going to make a mistake confusing two symbols because it makes it very clear exactly which is selected um, the other the other benefits that you get kind of uh, come for free is you get this list of remaining stitches um, so if you uh, if you actually do some progress and you'll see I've, I've marked a few stitches off here um, I, I started doing some on her hair so let's carry on marking this progress off 
And just to remind you, you can either tap on individually highlighted stitches or you can click and drag to kind of paint with your mouse or finger. Or you can just long press and it highlights all of those stitches inside the, the current 10 by 10 block. So that's normally the way most people um, kind of stitch to, to, to know where they are on the pattern. So I'll just zoom out a little bit. Let's, um, let's unhighlight that and let's toggle the view of just the progress so you can see now how how you get that image of, of either just the pieces you've stitched or the full pattern. Uh, now the beauty of this is if I select a different colour, if I then leave this pattern, so I've closed it, uh, let's go back into the list and reopen it and it always takes us back exactly to the point that we were the same zoom level the same position the same thread color selected um, and let's just uh, just open a couple of other patterns just to show it working so that's the B1 and again you can zoom in you can see the nice clear easy to read symbols on these patterns so you're getting this this pattern upgrade uh, Kind of a, as a byproduct of using our viewer, um, and you can op also open Artisy charts. So we have a couple in here, and there's I think there's other uh, pattern vendors that use the same software. So um, you may find that other pattern, other PDF pattern types will just work. Uh, straight away for others we'll just gradually build in support as we come across them uh, so that's it so let let me know what you think as always um, we'll try and get this update out sometime this weekend we've we've still got some more testing to do we just want to make sure everything works fine uh, works great uh, and make sure it's optimized for uh, for bandwidth and, and power usage on your device let me know what you think. Cheers.